my name is Ariel and welcome back to my channel. I am filming. I bet you thought you would never see these again. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot something. Be right back. <sighs> okay, um, this is literally a soup bowl and, um, but it is now a drinking vessel for my hot chocolate, um, that I, which is now lukewarm chocolate because I had left it in the kitchen while I was setting up to film this video. And what do I do? I immediately <laughs> spill it all over myself. I am a mess. But what else is new? I'm back in front of my bookshelves again, I'm trying to figure out a setup that I like. Um, it's easy for me to sit down and film because then I can easily get to the auto focus button and to know that it'll focus. Actually, I don't even know if, where this is placed right now. Should this go? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. But yes, I missed filming in front of my bookshelves. What I don't miss, however, is someone walking out and being able to see me film through my window so that'll be fun at least from this angle I can't see anyone that might see me so it's like out of sight out of mind I can just be unaware of it and not panic but they'll still see me look like an idiot but that's fine because I won't know that they're there um so today I am bringing you my favorite covers of 2019 or my in my opinion what are the most beautiful covers of 2019 now I have only like one adult book, some YA as well as a lot of middle grade. Um, I've noticed that I love middle grade covers so much. I have a few that I want to talk about with me physically, but I'm going to put up pictures of ones that I don't have um, somewhere on the screen. Um, but first of all, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Ariel. Did I? I don't know how to film videos anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, so without further ado, I guess we'll start with the one adult book cover that I know I like. And that is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Um, something about, I'm a huge pink and purple lover, as you can probably tell. Pink is like my favorite color, I think, as well as purple. So this just screamed to me. And then it's also pink and purple underneath. So it's just kind of like the perfect aesthetic. Um, and it's like a thriller, so a pink thriller, what's not to love about that? Um, I haven't read this, um, but I know a lot of people have been giving it really high praise. Um, but I just really like the vibrancy of this cover as well as these lines, um, through the O's. It just, it's spooky, but like a fun spooky. So I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> and honestly, that was one of the reasons that made me want to get this book is from the highly praised reviews, but because it is so dang beautiful. So yeah. This is probably, I think this is the only adult book that I can think of that I really, really enjoyed the cover. And so that's why I got it. Moving on to young adult. I have a few, I think the rest are all young adult books that I find beautiful. Um, so I'll start with the first one on top, which was actually a gift to me by the lovely Ginger at A Spice Reads Books. And um, I will link her down below, but she gifted me The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. I kind of already explained this in a vlog. I don't know if it's gone up yet, but I was immediately drawn to this book because of the cover. Something about like the blue of the crows and whoever illustrated this face, who is this illustrated by? Cover art by Tran Nguyen. I think is um, what it says. So wh yeah, they did a beautiful job. Um, I love this girl's face like from her complexion and like you can kind of see she's got freckles to this like sky blue eye as well as this crow that's covering the other eye and they almost they like match like the eye colors. I don't know. This just drew me in completely and paired with the gold writing. I from the moment I saw this book, I knew that I had wanted it. Um, I just, like, couldn't bring myself to purchase it for whatever reason. I was waiting for the right moment, and I had it on my wish list. And thankfully, Ginger bought it for me, so thank you, Ginger. Um, I love this gift so much, and I love this cover. Um, let me know what you guys think. Oh my god, and then look underneath, too. It's got the storm. It's just, it is so dang gorgeous. The next book that I'm going to show you guys is Stain by A.G. Howard. A.G. Howard always does like these kinds of like beautiful people covers. There are always beautiful people on her covers and like ethereal backgrounds and the color. Again, we've got like that purple bluish, um, blurple if you will, as well as the gold writing underneath. And this was Oh, and we got this, which is also beautiful, so like an extension of the cover. Um, and like on each of the chapter pages, I think you also get like illustrations there as well with like the thorns and everything. Um, and this cover was book designed by Anna Anok Nakamura, I think. 
I hope that's who made it. If not, well, credit to whoever did, but this is beautiful. And again, it has like those details throughout the pages as well. And then we have like the forest that continues on the back. Something about like the purples, the blurple, and the gold, I love that. It's like kind of similar to Stormcrow. I feel like the colors really fit together really well. And I don't know, I just love this girl's face. She's beautiful. I wish I was this girl. I wish I had a crown made of ice thorns. Moving on to what I think might be my like favorite cover of the year. This was also an immediate cover buy for me <laughs> and I remember talking about it and I think was it a haul but as soon as I saw this I knew that I wanted it. This is so dang stunning. Are you kidding me? This font as well as just all of the details throughout. We have like Ophelia here and we have the fairies um, and then we have um, just kind of things that the spooky aura. I love this font too. Like this font and this font is so, it fits it so well. This whole thing actually fits Guillermo del Toro's like style so well. And then it gets even better when you take off the dust jacket. Because then you got our boy Pan here um, underneath and it's got like the starry sky in the background with the forest and then there's Ophelia in the back with the book. It's just so dang gorgeous. I didn't even notice that that's how it looked like underneath when I got the book. I was just immediately drawn to the dust jacket, but it just, when I opened it, it got even better. Sis, you slayed! And this was, oh my god. And I, same thing like with Stain, this one also has like beautiful on every page, every single page. They have like this like foresty detail as well as when they go through like the kind of fairy tales aspects there's also like beautiful illustrations to go with that like the mini stories um it is so dang gorgeous let me see who designed this cover so it says illustrations by alan williams and then i don't know who designed the cover for this but good job for you i wish it was me Sorry, I saw Haley and Bookland trying to find out who, like, illustrated each a cover, and so I'm trying to find it, but I'm having trouble. Apparently, she just flipped right through it and she knew, but kudos to anyone, or whoever designed, not anyone, whoever designed this. Like, this whole package is beautiful, and I really liked the story, too. I actually did read this one, um, so I highly recommend it. The next book that I have to show you guys is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I wish in my life that I had every single special edition of this copy. I love the purple owl crate. I want to spray the edges of it myself so I can make it look like the fairy loot edition, but this has a beautiful illustrated covers, and I love the blue or the green and the silver, but then the purple and the gold too. If you don't know which one I'm talking about, I'll try and put it up. It is so freaking gorgeous. It is unfair how beautiful this is. And what's even better is that this was like one of my favorite books of the year. So not only did we have goodness on the outside, but we had amazingness on the inside. Um, so I loved this so much. Oh my god, they have summaries on here? In like this page? I didn't know, but this is a summary. When the apprentice library and Elizabeth is implicated in a sabotage that released the library's mo most dangerous grim grimoire, she becomes entangled in a centuries-old conspiracy that could mean the end of everything. Do, do all books do that? Like a summary within that first page? How did I not know this? Um, jacket illustration copyright by Charlie Bowater. Beautiful. Good job. Chef's kiss, Charlie. You're killing it. It's stunning. We love it. I wish I had the purple one. And the last of the physical copies of YA that I have to show you is Rainbow Rowell's Wayward Sun. Now this is the Waterstones edition that has like the flower sprayed edges on the side. Um, but basically any version of this, so the original where they're in the car as well as like the nighttime version for the Barnes & Noble exclusive, all of them look stunning. And um, I love, first of all, I love this suit. That's why I wanted this version is because it had um, it mimicked it on the sprayed edges. Um, but I love the blues and the oranges together as well as the yellow. Like this just stands out so much and uh, I love his suit so freaking much. Uh, and then the car and just everything, the desert scenery. Ah, uh, can we get enough? No, we can't. And then this was interior and paper illustrations copyright to Jim Tierney. So beautiful. So beautiful. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and then look oh, I forgot even when you undo it 
It's still like his suit. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Can I get a thumbnail? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it so much. Look at it. Just look at it. It's so... I want every version, to be honest. I wanted the daytime version that I have. Have I even read Carry On? No, I haven't. But that is not the point. This is stunning. And that is the point of this video. God, I want all of the beautiful books. Okay, the next three that I have to show you are books that I don't actually own physically, but they still are beautiful book covers, and these are also YA books. And the first one is Babysitter's Coven, which is the illustrated cover on this is so stunning. Um, I work in a bookstore and every single time <laughs> this has been on the promo table for like since I think it came out and I've made sure that it's like visible to everyone who sees because I want everyone to know how gorgeous this book is. And again this is one that I've been wanting to pick up for so long because the cover draws me in so much but I haven't brought myself to just take the plunge and buy it yet. But I want it so bad. It is so freaking cute. Honestly this is my kind of aesthetic like kind of like into the occult and gothy but make it cute um spooky but pastel <laughs> um that's me i love that so much and um i really if i could have that like denim jacket i would rock the shit out of that i want like a pink goth like baby bear and a lollipop it's so freaking cute i want it and i want to know what it's about i don't know i think you like you can kind of get a clear visual of like the tone of the book just based on it I think like it looks fun like we're about to do some witchery but we're gonna be like cute while we do it <laughs> I don't know I really I adore this cover so much um so yeah the babysitter's coven by Kate Williams that shit is it I love it so much as you can tell we have the reoccurring theme of like uh, as you can tell we have the reoccurring theme of pink and purple again playing into my favorites um it's so dang cute and I want it. The next book is one that everyone knows is beautiful. Everyone's been talking about how beautiful this book is since it came out, which I think was in May or sometime around that time. And that is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth, Ace <laughs> Elizabeth Acevedo. And this has the gorgeous girl that's on the cover. Her hair. So just her face, her being, her essence. Beautiful. Um, I haven't read this, but I know this is about a girl who has a baby and she's in high school and she's really into cooking and she's trying to save up money to go to this trip to Spain. Um, and I know a lot of people gave it really, really high praise. And I know when you take the dust jacket off, it also has like a library binding of like fruit and stuff that is kind of pictured on the cover. But I know naked, it is like also very very stunning um so yes everyone everyone was talking about how beautiful this was when it came out and I think we've kind of let it be forgotten but I'm here to bring it back so we can appreciate it once more before the year is over um again I don't have this book but I would love it it is so beautiful it's so beautiful and I love anything with food honestly and then the last one is I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver this I know also when it came out people were talking about how beautiful it is and I love this whole illustrated cover route that we're going with. It is honestly draws me in way more than a face on the cover. It has to be done really well. Like with Stain we kind of get, it's still illustrated but it kind of looks more like a human rather than like how um, I wish you all the best is. But I just love that we're going this route. Not only with like, it seems that way with like um, middle grade and like new adult romances. Um, adult, they have to be a little bit more sophisticated, I guess, so we can't have illustrated. I don't know. I really like it. Um, and unfortunately, because I don't have these books, I really don't know who has done the artwork on them. Um, but kudos to everyone who has done some beautiful illustrations for books this year. We've honestly had some very, very gorgeous books, and I am here to appreciate all of them. Um, but yeah, I wish you all the best. I love the colors. I love the blue and the yellow kind of complementing each other. Just stunning. And I want that too. <laughs> I just... And we got pastels. If you give me pastels, I'll be so happy with anything. <sighs> We're moving on to middle grade. The first one I have to talk about, I actually don't have the full book, which would have been amazing if I did because this doesn't even do it justice. But I have the arc for A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer. Um, if you haven't seen this, which I'm sure you probably have, but this whole like circle underneath, like if you had the physical hardcover, 
like the dust jacket would be like this and then there's like a hole in the middle where the hardcover is like so you can see the castle so when you take off the dust jacket it's like a whole like scene of the castle in the background you can't even this like doesn't do it justice I definitely want to get the hardcover um instead of just the arc because it is gorgeous I wish I shouldn't even be holding this up because it isn't doing it justice um but yeah go watch I think Olivia has purchased it and she talks about how beautiful it is Olivia Olivia reads a latte um uh, but it is so stunning you take it off and it's beautiful it's like this castle scene and I love when books do that as you can see by Pan's Labyrinth and um what is it um Rainbow Rowell uh as you can see like with Wayward Sun and um, with the fire on high, I love that when you take something off, the library binding is also similar to what you see on the cover, but it's just like even better. It's like an extra surprise. That's how this one is. Um, it is beautiful. I love this font. I love that it literally, this unicorn, I love unicorns. This fairy, I love fairies. This hawk. <laughs> um, yeah, so... <sighs> it is they're they're beautiful they're beautiful I love when there's just like a little surprise it's great when you have a dust jacket that's beautiful but when you open it up and you get to see it naked and it's just as beautiful underneath it's just the best and then I have four more middle grade that I want to share with you guys that I think are beautiful and the first one is Rose Coffin by MP Kowalski I think is how you say the last name and we have again those pinks and purples coming through and then we have this like really really cool tree and these like like Venus flytrap looking things on the bottom that are all trying to like basically grab at her and then you see like the tree is like a claw like trying to like grab her head basically and the girl's like what the heck is going on but I love the font on this I love the colors and the illustrations um the birds are like this beautiful red color that just really it all goes so well and then we have like that purple castle kind of like floating in the background <sighs> and then the purple and the blue and the tree the blurple it's just stunning and then because of like how the character is dressed it's so different from the background so she really stands out with that yellow shirt this I don't know what this is about and I haven't heard anyone talk about it this goes with a lot of the middle grade that I'm about to talk about and it's only because I work in the kids department that I even know anything about these books um but they their covers again I just want I want them and I want to know what's inside because they're beautiful and then the back of the cover too you see um the girl like falling and like the trees again are like almost like wrapping around her trying to grab her it's like kind of dark but I'm here for it again it's dark but cute the next book is Sisterland by Sala Simuka, I think. Um, and this, I think, do I even have to explain at this point? Like, I feel like I could just show you the cover and you'll get it. And if you don't, then I don't understand where <laughs> your head is at. This is so cute. First of all, the cover, the title is adorable. Um, this, again, is kind of like they're in another wooded area. There's vibrant colors going on. The illustrated, like, whoever did the illustrations of this I wish I was this talented <laughs> and again I want this book too it is so dang cute um I love the reds and the blues and the greens like if this picture honestly doesn't even do it as justice as it is like when you see it in real life everything is like so oversaturated and I want to know what Sisterland is about and the next book that I want to mention is Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mambala Mambalia I think is how you say it this again we got the blues and the purples and I love it I love it we got like blues purple cyan's pinks and it's honestly they're really killing it with like the Rick Riordan present covers um but this when it came out <laughs> I also wanted because of the beauty of it and I really love the characters expressions I don't even know like what is going on honestly I love the background and I love how it all kind of reflects on the characters like face and everything like the lighting <sighs> and the silver on the book too is really really nice um so good job I know let's just have a moment like I said Rick Riordan's like later books even I know Titan's Curse isn't as beautiful it's not Titan's Curse what is it 
Tyrant's Tomb. <laughs> I keep getting Tyrant's Curse and Tyrant's Tomb mixed up with each other. But um, Tyrant's Tomb is, I think, the Magnus Chase book or one of like the new ones that came out that is written by Rick Riordan. That one's not nearly as pretty as uh, Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky. It's still nice, but it's not as pretty as this one. Um, I know Aru Shaw, I think, is also a Rick Riordan Presents. Like, they're getting some beautiful covers. Um, but I really, really liked this one. And then the last one is, um, very reminiscent of the colors of With the Fire on High. Um, and that is Leilani of the Distant Sea by Aaron and Shrada Kelly. This also has that same kind of beautiful, like, warm tones of the orange and the yellows and the reds, but it also has, like, just a little bit of that purple underneath. Um, and I love, again, the text on this. We have that foresty scene. I think I'm just in love with the idea of an enchanted forest because I wish I lived in a foresty area. I live in Southern California and um, we ain't got none of that here. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know. And this kind of looks swampy and marshy and she's in a boat and there's another just giant tree that kind of looks this one looks a little bit more inviting than the one in rose coffin but um i don't know it's beautiful it's stunning i love when colors are cohesive i love when we have like a wide variety of colors too that we can just appreciate and it's just beautiful and i think you understand where what i think a beautiful cover is and i think if you disagree you're wrong Alrighty, well those were all the books that I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know which of the ones that I spoke about was your favorite and also what your favorite covers were of 2019. Like I said, we had like a lot of good ones in my personal opinion. I don't know about the content inside, but I'm all here for a nice cover. Um, so let me know what your favorites were. I, there was a bunch that I didn't mention, but I'd already seen in other videos, so I didn't want to re-mention them. A la the Gilded Wolves, um, the Wilder Girls, like I think those are stunning too. But I wanted to do some that people hadn't mentioned or that I hadn't seen people mention. So that's why I chose these ones. Um, but let me know um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!